Yo, apologies in advance, everybody. I'm Tony. And I'm Alex. And welcome back to the Metal Joystick Channel. Welcome to Sonic Generations. And first of all, a big shout out to all of you for getting us to 3,000 views on the channel. We're sitting pretty sexy right now for total view count, and it's thanks to all you lovely people watching these videos. Granted, I've been working on mostly Elden Ring and SpongeBob on the channel right now, so you haven't seen any of the Sonic series yet, but... Yeah, goddamn, Tony. Get the fucking work. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Did I beat Crisis City last time, or did I die? I'm hmm. sure I died. Oh, no, I beat it. Did you beat it? No. Nope. It's time for Alex to play Crisis City. The legendary Sonic 06 level. Hell yes. Sonic 06 had a, uh, had a weird soundtrack, don't you think? Oh yeah. It was the first time that uh, since Sonic Adventure that Crust 40 didn't do the main theme. Because it was that weird-ass rap song, His World. Yes. That was really weird. Its remix uh, for the final boss theme was Epic Cell, though. <laughs> Against the weird, like, time, not time demon, but like. The weird final villain of Sonic 06, which we all know is just, like, way too epic for a Sonic game. <laughs> yeah, it's way too epic. Too bad it's fucking broken. Yeah. Like, every part of it is broken. Well, you see, that's why the lovely world of computer emulation is the. Is the way to go for Sonic games, my dude, because someone's doing their best to remake all of Sonic 06 to be playable. Somebody is? Yeah. Who? They're just uh, some people online. I don't follow oh. it myself, but... Well, They're tweaking all the levels and redesigning them to make it playable. <laughs> well, I mean, that's nice. Because some people have realized that the level design isn't terrible, it's just the frame rate glitches and horrible boss fights are what hold Sonic 06 back. That and, you know, the weird little moment that Sonic shares with a real human. There's no editing that out! <laughs> so I, uncomfortable. And I hope they fix the, uh, the fucking first silver boss fight. Oh, I think that's the main goal. <laughs> You'd hope so, right? Well, being as it's one of the most infamous worst boss fights in gaming history, I fucking hope they're working on it. <laughs> Ooh. But Alex, are you enjoying your October so far? Yeah, I mean, nothing much has been going down as of late. You wanna know what's going down in my world? What's up? Bayonetta 3 dropping soon. Mmm, it is. And I couldn't be more hyped. I'm sad because Helena Taylor uh, wound up dropping off as the voice for Bayonetta for the first time in the series. But is getting being replaced by the legend herself, Jennifer Hale. Who I do not remember who voiced, uh, she voiced one other character off the top of my head that I, like, it, I'm blanking on. But she's most known for doing Female Shepherd in the Mass Effect trilogy. Huh. Interesting. Which she earned a lot of claim for because technically, uh, Female Shepherd is the canon choice for the lore of Mass Effect. Huh. Right? I did not know that. Well, that's pretty decent news. Right. And I've heard her do a little bit of the voice acting for it, and she's fine. Cool. But yeah, not not much has been uh, not much has been going on in my world. I guess I got a uh, I got promoted at work, I suppose. Oh yeah. I am actually working the uh, position I want to work there, and it's going very well. Uh, I'm in the middle of uh, quitting smoking, I suppose. I mean, that's that's, that's pretty cool. Game. But trying to better myself. Gonna start trying to uh, work out, I think. Hell yeah. Because I want to get fucking chiseled. Built like a brick shit house. Damn. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm working although, on that. Although I am, I am a big fan of keeping the dad bod. <laughs> but maybe have like a. Uh, I'm thinking more like I want to build like a. Like an NFL offensive lineman structure, you know? I thought like, you were going to go the Michael Chiklis route. No. No matter how fit you are, you will never be fit. <laughs> no, like, I w I'd love to be, like, big like that, but I don't think I'd ever achieve that feat, unfortunately. See, I'm, I'm working the exact regimen I am to try and get that Ralph Sheepers, Tommy Kervik ridiculous, like, Just... arms made of pure steel. <laughs> I mean... 
Hell yeah. And I'm I mean you're work you're definitely working on it. Like, oh yeah. We there's a there's a reason why you're nicknamed Thor from your hair and now it's gonna be from your hair and your massive pecs. I thought it was because I had a very big uh, influ influence of carpentry. What? And hammers. No. No. No, you, you don't. You don't have a history of carpentry with hammers. Oh yeah, I don't. Unless you like put together the stage at. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot that happens. Wow, what a tease! What Man. a tease! I don't want to get in the tornado. You just got egg blocked. Oh, oh. Maybe you, that was the point. You dunked into the tornado there, man. Damn. He swan dived into that bitch. But, uh, I heard the other day that, uh, that, so, um, did you hear anything about the, uh, the vector thing? I have not. Oh, well, uh, Dave DeSanto, I guess, because I get, we, we don't have the Metal Joystick podcast that much anymore these days, if you hadn't noticed, so here's a little bit of metal news for you. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dun 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 -dun. It's metal news. <laughs> is that is that our is that our uh, one of our bumper? many jingles here on the Metal Joystick Network? That's our news bumper for whenever it comes on as an emergency news bulletin. Yes. Uh, Vector is now on tour after Dave DeSanto, whatever the fuck his name is. Dave DeSanto. Yeah, he made a statement and and explained everything from the beginning of how he had never been arrested for like any domestic abuse and that. His wife started it, and it was just a very toxic relationship from the start. Oh, boy. Uh, and that he's all divorced now, and he's just trying to get past it, and he apologized for not uh, talking about it when it first came up. And uh, quite honestly, uh, with him saying that that video was just him defending himself... I, I, don't, I don't hear that. I, I, I mean... I, look, look, definitive I audio... It. I don't care enough um, <laughs> enough to have an opinion about it. But, yeah. uh, you know, I'm still not going to listen to Vector until they make better music. So. Because you know who you can listen to in the meantime? What? Paranorm. Yeah. And you know what else I can listen to in the meantime? Anyone but Vector? Yeah, pretty much like, <laughs> I can listen to New Revocation, can listen to all that new shit. You know uh, what you can listen to that I was blown away by recently? What? New Allegiant. I finally got to that one. Oh yeah, dude, dude. the new Allegiant record. What was it? Danum? Uh, damn. Yeah. That is just they did go straight prog death, man. Oh yeah, it's like, really good, ain't it? I really enjoy it. It, especially that uh, that acoustic classical piece. Oh yeah. That's in the middle of it. I love all the clean vocals too. I was a little worried when I heard that they had a new vocalist for this one, but nah, he fucking killed it. Too bad he's not in the band anymore, actually. Yeah. Just confirmed uh, their old vocalist from the, uh, from that, uh, I think their first record, or... Warm Shifter? Uh, or are you talking Elements of the Infinite? Elements of the Infinite, that vocalist just rejoined them. Just Ow. rejoined. So hopefully, I hope they go back into their tech death days. Yeah, we don't really need another prog death band, and Legion were one of those tech death, like, legends. For a while there. Oh yeah. Like, I still remember when Elements in the Infinite came out and you were losing your shit over it. Oh yeah, dude. They were one of the first death metal bands you really got into. Oh yeah, well they're it's it was something that I had never heard before, you know? It's like holy shit, these musicians are fucking insane and it's crazy death metal. It's the shit that I've been looking for my whole entire life. That was kinda of what happened when I first heard Colossus by In Morning. Yeah? That's like, understandable. In Morning is one of the one of the greats of the melodic death metal scene as well. I'd say they're carrying on the legacy that Opeth started with uh, Watershed and Damnation. I can agree with that. Oh, Especially shit. their most recent album, The Bleeding Veil. It's fucking awesome. Mm. And I can't wait to get to it on my list because that's been going very smoothly for once. But uh, be prepared for a uh, probably a Halloween inspired. Uh, Halloween inspired themes while it's getting close to the season because who knows when this episode's gonna get released and mm. I am just sucking ass right now. 
Uh, Tony, yeah. what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Oh man. Okay. What's okay? First, let's let's go into um let's go into tier lists here. Our... What's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite chocolate inspired? Ooh, candy? my favorite chocolate candy. Yes. Um. Oh, that's tricky. Because mm. your boy's pretty biased for a good old Twix, usually. Hell yes. I love a Twix, but... Twix is god tier. You know, I gotta say, in my older age, I'm going for the more classics, man. Yeah? I like... think I gotta go with Babe Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with the Baby Ruth. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Look, it's tasty. That nougat center, those little peanuts... And that light drizzle of caramel upon oh, the top, oh. it warms my pediatric heart. <laughs> Not pediatric, geriatric. There we go. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. ba Babe Ruth's are pretty decent, though. Oh yeah. I mean, they're just a classic candy bar. I'll be perfectly honest, I don't really eat chocolate bars a whole lot anymore. No? Not really. Oh, dude, that's like Whoop. one of my... Damn. That's like... It looks kind of tough. That's like one of my main things that I really like. Whenever I have a sweet tooth, I always like to get chocolate. My fiance kind of turned me on to it. I'm becoming more of a Dagnut guy. Dagnuts? Dagnuts. I love Dagnuts. I've always loved Dagnuts. What's I your mean, favorite Dagnut? Oh, I think I gotta go with the classic that I always used to hunt for when we go on our midnight Walmart vendors. Good old Bismarck's. <laughs> Very and cream filled with a chocolate layer on top. It's just delectable. I like the. Damn it! Wow. How many give it a shot? Uh, nah. I'm All right. I'm more of a fan of the classic, like the ring donuts. The, I mean, hey, you can't go wrong with the classics. I like the frosted sprinkle donuts. Oh, who doesn't? I mean, like, the classic, like Simpson pink frosted oh, yeah. sprinkled. The Smosh food battles back of the day. God, fuck. You try it. Alright. You ready for these but, mad skills? But I get... You know what my favorite chocolate thing is, though? What? M&M's. M&M's? I love M&M's. Shit. <laughs> you know, I, well, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm a bit, of a, a bit of a snob when it comes to, like, normal chocolate, because... I do like chocolate bar. Well, I do like chocolate, but it's not usually chocolate bars. I buy that fucking, um, I can't remember the name of it for the life of me right now. But the fancy ass chocolate squares with caramel in the middle. Oh, uh. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like those. Giardelli's or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something that make an Italian go, god damn. Pretty much, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Italian. Probably. I gotta get in the back of this pickup truck. I gotta get the wee fest. Shit. Oh shit! This was the only part that I. Damn. These jumps are very specific. Oh yeah. Like holy crap. But you know, if I'm ever getting, hey. if I'm ever getting like a chocolate bar, it's always a, uh, it's always probably a a Mr. Good bar. A mi Mr. Good bar is surprisingly classic to this day oh yeah i mean but i i like everything that has peanuts in it that's like my shit oh, like yeah. reese's pieces reese's products in general mm. like um as an adult i appreciate snickers far more than i ever thought i would oh yeah snickers are some of the best hell yeah one of the few candy bars that still has like active commercials for it or uh you like uh you like a hundred grand bars not much anymore or whatchamacallits. I do like whatchamacallits. I used to eat those things on the fucking daily when I was working at Holiday Inn. And I would go over to the AD ATM machine, take out a 20, break it down into a bunch of ones at the register, and then buy a fuck ton of whatchamacallits and uh, unpacked Starburst minis. I wish I hadn't needed your help, Sonic, but thank you. Hell yes. What about, uh... Can you say diabetes? <laughs> I really like, uh... Really like a Three Musketeers bars too. I can't see. I'm a huge fan of those as an adult anymore. Them and Crunch bars. Oh, dude, Crunch bars are the best. You gotta, you gotta press X. Sorry, I was watching the, I was watching the great filmmaking from 
Sonic Adventures. He was mesmerized by Blaze the Cat. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. So act one is me, yes? Yep. We got the one level from uh, Sonic Unleashed. But, uh, what are those? You know what, uh, you know what candy bar I think has, you know what, like, I think the best, like, ice cream candy bar thing is, though? It's, a uh, Butterfinger ice cream. That's the good shit. Yeah, Butterfingers do slap. And you know what I tried the other day? Hmm. Fucking Sour Patch Kids ice cream. <laughs> How was that? It was lit. Man, I love the little violin rendition of Spagonia Day here. Oh, yeah. And and welcome to the fucking fat episode of yeah, the Metal Joystick. <laughs> Went from talking about working out to what's your favorite candy bar? Well, yeah, it's getting close to Halloween, man. Yeah. What is your favorite, like, sugary candy, though? Uh, like... Give me, a, give me an example. Like, kind of in the realm of, like, baggied candies. Like, Sour Patch Kids, Starburst. Like, the sugary candies, like Skittles. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Probably. Pretty much, what's your favorite, and I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just kind of put a preface. What's your favorite kind of kids candy? Shit, probably, uh... What the hell are you supposed to do? I used to really like uh, Sour Patch Kids... But, uh, nowadays I really like, uh, fucking... There was a moment in time where I really liked, uh, gummy bears and I'd get them all the time. If I'd ever... Oh, I think you gotta do the little slide dash, like, press circle when you're right about to the, right, like, mm. right in front of it. Uh... Shit. Fuck, man. Probably... Shit, I'm... Dudes are just like, God damn! Can you do it? Can you do it, Dash? Or is that only a, is that only Modern Sonic? I think that's only Modern Sonic, but I think I just need to... I, just, I think I just not need to not be an idiot, but I got sugar candy on the mind. Because I'm just a fat fuck. <laughs> hey man, we've both lost a lot of weight. We ain't fat fucks no more. Oh yeah. We're doing good. Oh yeah. Not saying we're not. For those of you who don't know, uh, we used to be, uh, a bit heavy. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> at a time, your boy was 300 pounds, but now, uh, nowadays I'm at, like, 190 range. Goddamn, man. I think the last time I went to the doctor, I was, like, 215. Okay. Leave down in the comments what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, <laughs> we're a little, we're a little lost. Uh, maybe, maybe you're supposed I, to try and climb those platforms? Yeah, but those are... Super high up. Yeah, it's like just high enough where you can't reach it. Um, he's getting double jump. Nope. Um, you want me to look, you want me to look around? No. Okay, so down here. So like, press circle. Right when you get to it, just press circle. No. I feel like you're supposed to be able to break that. That's what I would do. the level too. glitch? Wait. Maybe? No. No, I couldn't have. Why? I'm so, I, I, I... <laughs> Yeah, let's try this again. Take two, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you've watched this channel before, you know that thinking and us don't go hand in hand. <laughs> we don't think when we do this. I mean, I guess for kids' candies, uh, Sour Patch Kids is probably the thing I'd most likely get. You know what I gotta go with? What? Gummy Krabby Patties. <laughs> Hell yes, dude. You wanna know why? Why? They still hold up tremendously well. Oh yeah, dude. You know what? You know what doesn't give enough credit? Hmm. Fucking gushers. Oh, dude, gushers are the shit. Did you ever roll uh, roll up gushers into a fruit roll up? Oh, dude, you were you were like a you were a smart kid and got pussy in like third grade if you did that shit. 
I, I, I hope not. <laughs> oh, maybe I was supposed to fucking fuck these guys. Um. Ah. <laughs> uh, I think what? I might have messed up because. Oh. Wait. Jesus you break, Christ. You break those boxes. Jesus. I think you're supposed to be able to get up on that platform somehow. Yeah. Like you think, right? Hey. Because. Oh, you weren't spin dashing. Spin dashing and crashing. Like. Oh. Damn. Leave it down in the comments if we just suck at this game or this game blows. Hey. <laughs> yeah, like. Dude. Is there any moves you this can- This game is a fucking slut. Can you like, is there a high jump in this game, or? No, there's no high jumps, there's no nothing, Lord Jesus. I can't, don't have... I can't dash back up there, and there's a fucking thing in oh, the way. Hop up on that, uh... Go back. Go back. Oh, no, I thought that was sticking out. I thought you could hop on that. Oh, well, the, uh, the flappy bit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this slutty thing. Let me see what I can do. This game sucks. No, Alex, we're just stupid. <laughs> this game sucks ass. Or maybe I just suck ass at this game. I mean, for growing up with the series, we're both kind of bad at Sonic. Well, I mean, the quality has only gone downhill from since the Genesis days. I don't think I was supposed to fall. Oh! Alright, give me that shit. <laughs> oh! Wow, that hurts. That hurts. Ooh. That hurts a lot. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am not fit for this game. Oh, that. Oh! Somebody call the cops, he's fucking dumb. Why would they call the cops? Because you're dumb. Because. You gotta arrest you for being dumb? Ignorance is a crime. <laughs> if you're in China. <laughs> what? I, yeah, you can't talk when you're in China. <laughs> I, I, I think they're allowed to talk. Nah, not about things, important things like politics. <laughs> are we getting, are we talking about the... What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. because you know, the 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 importance of Chinese politics in America is way more than it really should be. Yeah, it should be non-existent. And yeah, yeah it's... we should not give a fuck about a lot of these countries. I mean, well, we should because we trade with them, but like, uh, that's a whole other. That, that, that that's a whole can of worms. We. We decided not to go poly political on this on this channel thing. There's just wait until the uh, till election season comes on, oh, and then God. we'll tell you who we voted for. Oh boy! Yeah, but it, but it'll be like probably months in advance because we'll probably have this in the database. Because we're just making filler episodes at this point. I mean, yeah, we're I'm keeping we're, up with uh. We're doing the inventory. Well, I mean, pretty much it's to the point where we get a backlog where I can start uploading daily. Yeah, hopefully. And we just don't have that level of uh, content built up yet. That is very much true. Uh, uh Tony, what was your? Oh uh, no! Shit! Oh my god! Oh, and that was your last life. Son of a bitch! Now I gotta. Oh, well, at least now I know like what to do when we make that fucking dumb part. I'll be honest though, like, the game did kind of screw you on that one, because we've never had to do something like that before. Yeah. Like, there, and there's no indication that you're supposed to just push forward, like, I mean, we're dumb, don't get me wrong, but like, I'll, there's also, it wasn't explained at all that that was an option. Oh, no. Like, they just, they just expect you to do it on your own. Because you see people, usually in a Sonic game, when something doesn't move, that just means you're going the wrong way. This is very true. And the Motley crew. Sure, but Sure. What the fuck? 
All right, now that I can push, now I can go up this ramp. I can go do things. Man, the people that live here looking out their windows are probably like, what the fuck is going on outside? Well, you see, yeah, that was the weirdest part about Sonic Unleashed, is the fact that it took place on Earth. Because you went to, like, Paris and shit, and Greece. It was weird. Oh, yeah. I love it when there's storms in Greece. It always reminds me of, uh, me. John Travolta. What? Oh, yeah. God. Go, Grease Lightning. I thought you were trying to talk about the actual, like, weather in Greece and was very confused. No, I don't know what the weather in Greece is. You think it... is it? It's probably a very warm place, you think, right? Oh, yeah. No, but most of what I know about Greece is spending time there in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so... Mm. I'm not an expert. I but I will say, sailing during a storm in Assassin's Creed Odyssey is pretty majestic. Mm. What's, uh... where does Assassin's Creed uh, Origins take place? It takes place in Egypt. Mm. Are you uh, Egyptian? You are one of the Medjai, one of the protectors of the Pharaoh. Mm. And kind of just general, like, kind of pseudo law enforcers of the day. Because all you uh, Xbox fans probably know by now that Odyssey and Origins just got added to the Game Pass. And uh, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you right now Origins has a great story, but the gameplay gets stale fast. Odyssey fucking rules. Is it uh, is it a 10 out of 10 game for you? Uh, it's a 9 out of 10. Would you... It gets grindy by the end. Oh, and uh, all the Elder Scrolls games are available on the Game Pass, too. So your boy got Oblivion, and... Uh... Is Alex going to try out a medieval RPG for the first time ever? Yes, uh, I got the Skyrim, too. That's what it's called. Yes. You see, people, uh, for the longest time, he was not a fan of RPGs. Uh, it's time to open up my world, you know, try new things. I mean, don't get me wrong, he was a fan of, like, Paper Mario and shit, but, like, Skyrim and Fallout? Nah. But I gotta ask, Tony, is uh, Elder Scrolls Online worth it? You... Worth downloading? I could not tell you for the life of me, man. I still have not properly gotten into it. If I'm repping an MMO, it will always be Final Fantasy XIV online. Hmm. Is that a fun online? It's literally one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Hmm. Interesting. And I've played a lot of RPGs. Oh, yeah. That's Just like, ask Alex. That's like... RPGs are like his main focus for playing video games. Oh, yeah. Like, we'll probably eventually be commentating on an RPG game at some point in this game this time we already are with the kingdom hearts series currently going oh yeah yeah i haven't seen a kingdom hearts episode on the channel for a while now no nope, we've been hard focusing on elden ring and spongebob feeding that algorithm oh should i mention it we got demonetized <laughs> we're not oh. even monetized yet and we got demonetized how do we get demonetized because i mentioned that youtube isn't paying us and they don't like being called out uh, but but we only have 37 subscribers. Yeah, we ain't of course paid we're for not it. getting paid for it. <laughs> Giving them free views. We're pretty we're, much we're, at. We're, we're recording these videos all for YouTube, and YouTube can't even shell out a dime. And we're giving them free product, and they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to be thankful that YouTube lets us upload videos on their website. Better than fucking toilets, I tell you that much. Oh, it's fucking true, though. The Twitch drama is insane. Oh, Not yeah. Not that I give a fuck, but, uh, because... YouTube streaming is where it's at, people. Oh, yeah. The only thing that YouTube streaming, I heard, needs is just a better chat, and then it'll be good to go. Yeah, it doesn't have chat integration to the level Twitch does. Be on the lookout for some, probably, uh... Some, uh, probably YouTube streaming episodes at some point. Some point, yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I'd love to play, uh, I'd love all, both of us to, uh, try our hands at, uh, who can last the longest in zombies. In zombies? Yeah. That could be interesting. That could be fun. Because, uh, as of lately, your boy has been, uh, playing zombies a lot. You missed! 
God damn it. Fuck. Yeah, I've been, this is a big ass clock. I've been playing zombies a lot, and I can I can safely say that uh, Cold War Zombies is my favorite zombies. But uh, if I want to say the best zombies, I'm probably gonna go the Giga Chad route and uh, say uh, fucking Black Ops Three. I mean, I play. I can even say that I have enjoyed Black Ops Three zombie mode. You wanna know why? Why? It's got a fucking story. Oh yeah, it's, well, fucking Black Ops Cold War has stories for their, uh, each stage. No, yeah, I'm just talking like, because Black Ops 1 and 2 didn't have a story, but it was starting to work on that. Black Ops 2 has a fun zombies. World oh, yeah. at War has a really fucking hard zombies, Oh, though. dude. Fucking, uh, what's it called? What's that map called again? World at War? Oh, shit, if I can remember, dude. We all know where it's at. We all know where the best zombies map is of all time. What? You know they're talking. Because you can listen to 115 if you get all the meteorites. Oh, yeah, huh? Man, that was such a wild thing back in the day. Finding that out and pulling that off, it was like, holy shit! But I definitely, uh... Just because Black Ops Cold War is, like, the easiest one... You know, and it has the most perks and shit in it, mm. too. And it's the most accessible. And it has a fucking cross-platforming. So you should get it for PlayStation 4. So we can play I zombies think, together. I think I'll get it for PlayStation. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! PlayStation 5 reveal at 50 subscribers! I fucking hope so. Yeah, I'm, you... it, I'm itching for a PS5, man. Yeah, let us, uh, if if any, any of you guys want to be, like, super nice and are, like, Spice and, if, and, and if, like, a thousand dollars doesn't mean anything to you, like, that's just burning pocket money, you know, uh, a donation would be very nice, highly appreciated, and we'll make it worth your while. We'll give you a, we'll give you free merch for life if you donate a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X or both to the Metal Joystick channel. If you can do either one of these things, please message us at our Facebook at facebook.com slash metal joystick for your inquiries. And we'll give you a P.O. box to send that stuff to and give us a return address and we'll send you merch for life. Buy us PS5. Yeah. <laughs> And an, and a Series X. <laughs> it's just for me. It doesn't know. There'll be no Microsoft in my house. Oh shit! Well, Microsoft came for me. <laughs> Took me out. It's like fuck you. Talking too no, much. This shit. isn't Microsoft, you fucking weirdo. No, they killed my character in game. Oh. They found a way into my game and killed me because <laughs> I was talking bad shit. But I don't know, if if you get a PS5 and try to play Black Ops Cold War with me, I don't think it'll work. Why? Because I think I'm a generation behind. Or actually, never mind, because shout out to Shrunk. He was able to play with us when he got his Series X. You, hey. know, how, you know how much his Series X cost him, Tony? How much? $900. Really? Yep. I'm guessing he bought it during the pandemic. Uh, no, like 2021. Oh, okay. So when it was still pretty like scarce. Yeah. That's unfortunate that he had to pay nine hundred dollars. Fuck scalpers, just in general. Oh, he got it from. Uh, he got it when it was on sale on a Walmart.com. Oh God. Ah. Uh. Yeah, he got scammed, man. Oh, uh, well, I mean, he got a Series X out of it. The most powerful gaming system ever, you know? I think I'd I'd be fine with paying $900 for that. But I'm just not going to. Because I'm not going to pay $900 for fucking anything unless it can drive me somewhere. And a $900 God car damn. would suck. <laughs> a $900 car would be terrible. I mean, not around here. They're, they're, the cars that I want are only like $3,000, you see. 
because you what I want to get next is a Buick LeSabre. And you know why I want to get a Buick LeSabre? Why? Because it's a fucking couch on wheels. And it's great, it's great on gas, and the ones that you find are usually owned by old people that don't fucking go anywhere, so they only have, like, 60,000 miles on them. Man, I'm doing some sick tricks. Yeah, you are. But yeah, they're just super comfy, and I'd love to use them for road trips. Because I'm definitely going to go to, like... I'd love to drive to North Carolina at some point. So I got to press square to launch? Yes. No? Leave down in the comments where you want the first Metal Joystick fans meetup. Probably at a con or something. Uh, yeah. I sure as hell ain't going to goddamn California for a meetup, though. <laughs> Fucking liberals. Uh. <laughs> Just playing. I'd love to go to some fucking warmer weather. Go to warmer weather... Go to just a huge celebration. Yeah. I'd love to go to uh, E3 one day. Hang out with all the fans of the Metal Joystick. Oh, dude. That'd, <laughs> that'd be uh, oh, that'd yeah. be the fucking dream right there. Yeah. If we had our shot. own... No, well, yeah, <laughs> that too. But to get our own con would be like the fucking dream. Oh, my God. Man. That... Holy shit. Have like a Q&A and shit. Oh, yeah. But, I'd love to host a panel. That'd be so dope. Hell, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Dude. Tyler! Hello! Nice fucking... Aren't you uh, snazzy? Yeah, you're looking pretty sexy. Oh, where are you going? Ooh. Hope you get a blowy. Ow, God, I crashed! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I was a little scared there. Leave down in the comments if you're getting a blowy, as where you're watching this. If you are. Good job. Oh. God damn, the extra lives are just out the ass oh, yeah. in this they level. They saw how much you fucking suck and are giving us pain. <laughs> <laughs> Big facts, Tyler, I've been sucking ass at this game. He, he, made, he made a whoopsie. <laughs> it was rather funny. A triple game? Oh, yeah. With ease. Well, I mean, Tyler, we gotta continue our uh, God of War at some point. Gears of War. Gears of War, yeah. We gotta play God of Gods of War, too. At some point in the channel days, too. Oh, yeah. We got uh, so many plans, y'all. We got God of War in the, uh, planned out. We got the Arkham series. We got Spider-Man. And, Tony, might I say, you are just speeding through these levels, my oh, yeah, dude. dude. Dude, Monarch Sonic is my shit. And see you later. Catch you later, buddy. Y'all enjoy the episode. Whatever it comes out. <laughs> 69, 69 is when it comes out. Christ. Let's date the episode. It is October 8th. One day before my dad's birthday. But what year? Ooh. 2022. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could. We could save this for January. <laughs> nah, October if we next really... year. Huh? October next year. Oh, oh god damn. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, they're in my sweater ass. pocket. You know, I got a hunch they're in his ass. Uh, no, they're controlling that oh. monster. Sorry, everybody. Household drama. What time are we at, even? We're at 40 minutes. Nice. Someone has to be behind all this. We gotta take him out, Sonic. Take him out to fucking dinner and fuck him. Take him out to town. What a nice gent. And are those fucking starter sweatpants, Tony? Yeah. You stylish fuck. Would you get a new keychain? Oh, those are Alex's. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? That those are my keys. Where's my sweater? Don't steal my fucking car, Tyler. Kill you. God damn, Tony, you trying to give him all my shit? I am. I'm, I'm trying to have him steal your car. Well, good luck. It doesn't have a fucking. It doesn't have a driver's side window or a driver's side uh, mirror. 
I'm so, sorry, everybody. I'm trying here, but Tony's too dumb to know. Hand where me the controller at least, so I can move on. Yeah. Please. Sorry if I'm sounding super bossy. I'm bossy. What the? Okay, fuck you. <laughs> Tony's going through a midlife crisis here. It's just a dementia. Don't worry, everybody. So we're going to move on to question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, it, I, I, it was right there. I got to press Y. It's my favorite level. And it's triangle, you even. Up, I knew that'd get to him. You're playing a PlayStation. Get it right! Fuck, fuck you. Fuck Sony you. is very inferior to Microsoft. Sony is god tier and Microsoft are like their title. Tiny and wimpy. Get the fuck out of here. The Xbox Series X is the most powerful game system to come out ever too bad i don't give a shit because the ps5 looks cool it's not just a fucking mini fridge the ps5 looks like a fucking router yeah at least it doesn't look like a fucking mini fridge what are you gonna do just fill it up with game fuel and get sad because call of duty sucks now and battlefield 42 2042 was not worth the pre-order oh i'm sorry let me hear i couldn't hear you over all the exclusives that they're stealing <laughs> what are you talking about not much. <laughs> Not much at all. I don't remember any of that. What the fuck? What do I do? Oh, press triangle. Oh. You mean... What? Oh. Did I just... Did Sonic you press come? it and then you get up for it when you're on the wall. And then you can go up. I can go up the wall's ass. Power of the Wisps, because this is the world, this is the level based off of Sonic Colors. Ooh. And it's my favorite level in the game. Sonic Colors? I actually never played that Sonic game. It was for the Wii. For the, for the Wii? It was it the Wii U? Or the, just the regular Wii? Tony, answer the fucking question. You're getting interrogated. I did that, but that, it was just for the Wii. It actually got brought to modern consoles as Sonic Colors Ultimate recently, and weirdly enough, people's perception of it has turned around quite a bit because it used to be mm -hmm. Sonic Colors was one of the best Sonic games and Sonic Unleashed and 06 suck. People still think Sonic 06 sucks, but at the, at the same time, like nowadays, people aren't a big fan of Colors, but love Unleashed. Mm. I mean, that's, uh, that's really weird to believe. Right, because like Sonic Colors was really fun. To I still think it's a really fun game. I'm, I wasn't really a big fan of Sonic Unleashed. I wasn't really a big fan of the the Wii Sonic games that came out because there was what Sonic and the Secret of the Seven Rings. Sonic and the Secret of the Ring, or yeah, the, the Secret of the Seven Rings, the Seventh Son of a Seventh Son rip off. And then you know the good old fucking uh, Sonic and the Black Knight. Man, wouldn't that have been cool? An Iron Maiden inspired Sonic game. Isn't all Sonic inspired by Iron Maiden? I wish. Fucking shout out to my buddy Mitch that went to goddamn Iron Maiden on Monday. I'm fucking pissed about it. That son of a bitch. God. I didn't know that uh, Iron Maiden were on tour. Well, I kind of knew that they were on tour, but I didn't know that they were in the States. Yeah. And my buddy Mitch got to go see him in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, neighboring state, mind you. Oh, yeah. God, fucked up. Oh, no, you're So, good. uh, fucking shit. You know, Planet and Wisp and the uh, forest level from Odyssey, uh, Super Mario Odyssey, looked very similar. Mm. Fucking shit. Hey, Tony, you want to... Want to hear a surprise that I'm gonna do for my uh, fiance? What? That I just thought of today. So I'm gonna completely surprise her, I think, and take her to uh, Chris Stapleton. Oh shit! Out in uh, Grand Forks. Like, just tell her like in the morning. Like, just get dressed nice, you know, and then like get a hotel room in Grand Forks. Don't even tell her where we're going. 
and just be like, Taxi, take us to the Alaris Center, please. <laughs> God damn. Alex over here being romantic as shit. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I love Chris, and we both love Chris Stapleton too, you know? Oh, so yeah. it'd be like a win win. So, uh, don't tell her, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this episode's gonna be like, gonna be out like long after that, because I don't know. It's gonna be in November. I might be out by then, because now that fun drops over. Yeah, that's true. Oh well. Don't tell her, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, does she watch the channel? Uh, it's occasionally. I think she watched the podcast more than anything. You gotta hit the button. I'm trying. Hit the button. <laughs> God damn, that's just a quote from <laughs> SVU that the metal joystick needs to like say every fucking episode. Apparently. There's just there's so, so many, many buttons, buttons in the games <laughs> that we play. <laughs> oh, can you tell we've known each other since literally, like, first grade? Yeah, I think it's at least been... It's definitely been 20 years at oh, this yeah. point. Because I'm 26, and you're 26. Damn. And goddamn, the music here fucking slaps. Oh, yeah. Sonic music always slaps, Tony. I don't know. Sonic Forces was pretty... Yeah... I definitely want to take a break from fucking Sonic games after we're done with this, though. There, uh... There's something to enjoy in one sitting and then put down for a while. I, I never find it worth it to play Sonic on a regular basis. It, oh, I, I love Sonic to death, but oh, there's only no. so much Sonic you can take. Oh, yeah. Well, at least... More than you can take! <laughs> Make no mistake! Rattlesnake! <laughs> Electric that, it, rattlesnake! God, I love fucking... Acapella Overkill over here. God, I love Overkill. We should go see them in concert we again. We should. Even with their last record being shitty, I'd still want to go see Overkill again. Plus, I need to find a new Overkill t-shirt. And I mean, uh, Overkill as a band, like... Their bad albums aren't like zeros, they're more just like 5 out of 10. It's never bad music, it's just uninspired. Yeah, it's like, it's always good thrash. Like, definitely better than a lot of like the fucking modern pizza thrash Metallica grandma worship music. Seriously. You know? Like, have some originality, people. Be more like a Angela Sol Apartheida and like the Miser and fucking uh, I'd, I'd Space put Chaser. Warbringer in there too. Warbringer, yeah, but they're they're becoming some of like the old breed nowadays, man. They've been around for a minute compared to like a lot of these modern thrash bands. I'd put old the old breed. You have to be like at the time when Metallica was still in thrash to be the old breed. Your Exodus is the old breed, Tony. <laughs> Fuck sakes. So what you're talking about is uh tank levels of old <laughs> I'd say. Who here likes Tank? And if you do, stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> Who here likes Tanker? You know. They fucking blow, too. You know, Tankard and Tank are the same band, right? Are they? Yeah. Oh. Tankard is what they called themselves after they quit being called Tank. That. Tankard fucking blows. Oh, yeah. I tell you what. We get it. You guys are all fucking alcoholics. <laughs> oh, shit! Like. Let's, let's look at it from this angle. We all know that the worst, like, the bad albums in each genre of metal vary. Like, bad black metal is just hard to hear. Bad death metal is usually mixed poorly and sometimes just has really bad vocals. Yeah. Bad power metal is just kind of, like, just kind of forgettable. It is, like, the worst thing that does. I mean... Like, Sabaton's newest album is pretty much an example of bad power metal. Like, it's just not that. Super uninspired. Super uninspired and just kind of... It's kind of basic for power metal. Like, there's no real t guitar wizardry. There's no real, like, soaring melodies and dueling, pe like, keys and that. Oh, no. And then bad heavy metal is usually just kind of, like... It just kind of leans more into, like, the hard rock glam style. A little too much. Even some of that is decent, though. Oh yeah, like. Speaking of which, my favorite, uh, my favorite parody metal band just uh, released a new song the other day. Oh. 
Steel Panther released uh it's never too late to get some pussy tonight <laughs> and uh, uh coming off their new record on the prowl i and, still can't believe they're still going man and think of this the album cover is pretty much uh steel panther gone synth synth man everyone's going the synth route lately yeah dude like dragon force levels of like fucking Ooh. album covers at least it's not like all synth for fucking the new Steel Panther song. It has new, it has a synth in it though. It's pretty decent. I really like it. it has their new bass player on it because they just announced that they, uh, along with On the Prowl being announced, it's also uh, their new bass player being announced too. So it's as things are going really well for Steel Panther. Hope to see them live again one day because. Those are always really fun concerts. Probably uh, some of the best concerts I went to. You don't say. Yeah, it was a, it was a really good vibe at the Steel Panther concert, and plus uh, those members just uh, have a way with like uh, really communicating with the audience. They're really good at audience participation. Stuff. Oh, oh yeah, like super. They're like gods of fucking audience participation. Well, what the fuck are you supposed to do here? Uh, I'm supposed to eat ass. I'm coming out, so you better get this party started. This is definitely the longest time we spent on a level in this game so far. I'd say. Ten minutes, Jesus. Well, Jesus Christ, it doesn't help that this game is just... It doesn't give us any hint. It doesn't give us any fucking goals here. It's just like... Sonic! Play Sonic. Yeah, some of the Sonic Classic levels are a little uninspired. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, oh wow. Uh, he went all the way down. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus. God. I don't go on that one. Well, I'm going to there. this one. Dude, that was actually kind of sick. No. Oh, there you go. Oh, I did it! I did it! Yeah, good for me. It's never too late to get some pussy tonight. You know, I gotta say, the noise they use for him climbing on metal surfaces is obnoxious as hell. And might I also say that, uh, back to uh, Steel Panther, yeah, their new single slaps. I really like It's Never Too Late to Get Some Pussy Tonight. It's definitely a, a, a cl instant classic. In my in my ears, I'll have to give it a listen. Uh, I've never been a big Steel Panther fan. He he's more of the uh, if we're talking parodies, he's more of like the Tim Minchin oh. style, like stand-up comedy. Tim Minchin, Bo Burnham style, which I've never really like, really liked. You know, I enjoyed like Bo Burnham's uh, what? Mm-hmm. Didn't really enjoy Inside? Not really. Honestly, I think it's just because the music's a bop, and especially when it came out during the whole lockdown and all the themes it had, it was, it was a little, like, relatable in, like, a kind of a shared pain kind of way. Mm -hmm. I agree. But that's the episode. That's 53 minutes. And uh, Next time on the Metal Joystick. We'll do the second part of Planet Wisp. I think we got like one, two more episodes. Uh, maybe three because we got to do some more of those challenges. Yeah, that's true. But next time on this, you'll be seeing Tony play Planet Wisp. I can't. Wait. He's, al he's already so erect. And get, leave a comment if you, if you kind of like this style of like commentary. Because there's not really much going on in these mm. Sonic games. So, bye-bye. Goodbye.